All right, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home push here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.13 in the evening on Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. 9.13 in the evening on Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. We have a warning for the area northwest of Los Angeles. And let's take a look at that right now. <clears throat> All right. Back a, about a couple of weeks ago, the 28th and 29th of September, we had a strong uh, um, signal coming out of uh, northwest of Los Angeles here, um, up kind of near Santa Barbara and along the Garlock Fault. That was on the 28th and 29th. We were worried about it then. The uh, signal was about 49 units of variance from the normal, so it was very high. About the uh, 50 units produced a 6.0 earthquake in Napa. So we were concerned about it. That was back in August 24th of 2014. However, the risk is not at 49 anymore, it's at 56. Here's the new forecast map here for the 11th through 13th. And I'll show you a graph here in just a second, but the, the risk level is up to 56 units, which is uh, the risk level of about a 6.5 or larger. So we're looking for a major earthquake northwest of Los Angeles, most likely to occur on the 13th in the morning. That's tomorrow morning. And of course, today is uh, Tuesday. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning is Wednesday, the 13th. So tomorrow morning, we'll look at the uh, graph here in a second. You can look at quakeprediction.com to see these, uh, these maps. And here's that peak on the morning of the 13th, Wednesday morning and uh, around eight o'clock in the morning. So we should get a strong earthquake uh, tomorrow morning, northwest of LA. It could hit sooner, but uh, the data is showing uh, the morning of the 13th. However, it could hit any time between now and then, uh, up to the evening of the 13th as well. So if you have friends or family that live uh, northwest of Los Angeles, or even in the Los Angeles area is very close as well, to Ridgecrest and over to Coalinga. Uh, the highest risk is right along the Garlock Fault up to the San Andreas Fault there and right over to Santa Barbara, Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, that area. So uh, significant earthquake coming to Northwest of uh, Los Angeles during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours now. Let's look at some of the other uh, forecast maps and Anchorage, Alaska. We had a spike in risk here on the 11th, and we warned uh, the people in Alaska look for a strong earthquake on the, uh, the 11th, and you can check one of our last videos as well, um, a couple of videos ago, and they had a 6.9 southwest of Anchorage near Kodiak Island, and that happened on this peak in risk right here. And you can see the forecast map right here is where the, uh, this is where the high risk was and that's where the uh, 6.9 occurred. It's down there, uh, northeast of Sand Point, southwest of Kodiak Island, southwest of Anchorage. And here's the forecast, uh, what was the forecast for today, the 12th into the 13th. Risk is down near Juneau. And then it gets kind of quiet, the 13th, 14th. And then it looks like, uh, we're getting a hot spot here again, uh, down near Sand Point and south of Kodiak Island on the 14th and the 15th. And here's the current uh, risk graph here, 71% risk on the 13th in Anchorage and 38% on the 14th, 50% risk on the 17th. All right, let's look at the uh, Athens, Greece forecast. And we had a spike in risk coming up. We told them to look for about a 6.0 earthquake on the 11th on this spike here. Uh, it didn't occur on the 11th, but we did get a 6.4 24 hours later. And you can see that over here, 6.4 hit southeast of Athens on the 12th of October. So it was supposed to hit on the 11th here and it hit on the 12th, so pretty close on that one. The risk is uh, building now on the 13th and the 14th up here in the northern part of uh, Greece, and then on the uh, 14th and the 15th is northern Albania is the hot spot on the 14th and the 15th of October. 
And in Italy and Croatia forecast here, uh, right now through the 13th, there's a hot spot here, right over Zagreb, Croatia area, and Northeast Italy. On the 14th, it gets uh, quiet. And then uh, on the 14th and the 15th, risk begins to a hot spot here near uh, Northwest Italy on the 14th and the 15th. And we added a forecast in New Zealand. You can see this is where the risk is in Northeast New Zealand right now. And then it gets sort of quiet on the 13th and 14th. And then a hot spot up here in the 14th and the 15th in Northwest New Zealand on October 14th and 15th. In Tokyo, we had a hot spot right over the uh, Tokyo area and we warned them look for a strong earthquake on the 8th or 9th of October. And then they had uh, just early in the morning on the 8th, they had a 5.9 in just east of Tokyo, right where we had said it was gonna be. And then uh, the risk is uh, now pushed into a Hokkaido area. Right now it is in the morning, actually it's in the afternoon. It's in the afternoon of the 13th, I believe right now. So this, uh, this forecast takes uh, uh, the forefront now with this risk up in Hokkaido, northern Japan near uh, Aomori, Iwate, Morioka, and then a moderate risk, moderately high risk in uh, Tokyo. And then after that, the risk is uh, kind of a moderately high off of, of Tokyo. So uh, during the next uh, 24 hours or so, look for a very high risk uh, near Hokkaido in northern Japan as well. All right, so let's go back to the uh, California forecast once more. We have a warning uh, for a major earthquake northwest of Los Angeles, possibly on the Garlock Fault from Ridgecrest down to uh, the San Andreas there, northwest of LA, looking for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, most likely on Wednesday morning the 13th, so please warn your friends and family of this uh, upcoming earthquake northwest of LA. It could hit in LA. We did have a quake on September 17th, right in, that uh, was a Carson City, just south of Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles and Carson City. It was a 4.3 on the 17th of September. And we had a 3.8 up in Thousand Oaks on the 13th of September. So. This is uh, in the general area where it should hit on uh, tomorrow morning, most likely tomorrow morning on the 13th, but anytime between now and the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Thanks again for your support here at QuakePrediction.com. Uh, over 170,000 followers now, research over the last 16 years, almost 17 years. Uh, so uh, thank you for your support. And we will talk to you after the very large earthquake uh, in uh, California, northwest of LA uh, tomorrow or possibly tonight. We'll talk to you later. Thank you so much.